All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, my microphone is working per perfectly for the first time in forever. So let's go ahead and get this bugger started. All right, so I'm currently still in the middle of designing parts of my island. I don't entirely know what I'm going to do with some of it. Um, but I do know that I need some new custom paths. So we're going to go ahead and design some things for my island today. As soon as it would load. Why is it? I, it seems like my games are taking a while to load. I don't know why. Oh, okay. The maple leaves are falling. That's good to know. I love, I love maple leaves when falling. I, I love, I love when the cherry blossoms fall too, but this island in particular, I have set, because this is my main island, my first island that I ever had, it is set to the current season that I have. Um, Even though I am currently personally being buried under three feet of snow at this juncture on um, but as but I actually kind of wish that the falling leafy season happened more in October but what are you going to do so we are going to go ahead and uh make some new paths and change some designs I um oh yeah I completely forgot about the gear tower do i don't the reason why i i don't think i have this i didn't think so there are i there are a few recipes that i'm missing but there are quite a few that i don't i need to remember my controls here i'm not used to using separate control I, my i actually have my compu my controls separate in my hand i don't know where my uh connected controller are so the so like i have to kind of rewire my brain um as far as how the controls work here oh mushrooms i love the mushrooms everywhere too uh, yeah, here, here's actually where I started reworking some of the paths and things. This was a very cartoony style path that was fine, but I didn't like it. That was a path that I had gotten from someone. I downloaded it from somewhere. I legitimately don't know where I found it. I think I may have just done a search for like leaf paths or something. So I started making my own and this is what I've kind of come up with. And I'm just, I'm just changing the colors and the design of that. This path right here was not one that I designed. This was one that I downloaded, um, cracked and broken. Um, Cause I, I'm kind of going for a slightly um, degraded, um, society that's kind of crumbling a little bit but it's kind of charming in that sort of way like there are people still living here and there are there is some upkeep being happening but the paths are just kind of cracked and worn and some of them have moss growing on them and here is one of my very cute villagers maple Yeah, it's, it's been a few days since I've played, so everybody's going to be saying, hey, it's been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> this is one of my builds that I made for Halloween. Welcome, great pumpkin. Um, I didn't, I, I meant to get all of this finished by Halloween, but chaos. So this was something that I started basically making like a little seaside 
cafe thing Um, because my character here is a sea elf and I I was thinking that maybe she wanted to make like tea and cakes and things and everything's sort of a softy pastel sea kind of a thing and I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm just not sure. This I genuinely don't know what I'm doing with. I just wanted to create kind of like a little pagoda thing. I, I, I don't know. I really wish you could put furniture in these. I really do. I have a little stump here that every so often a villager will just sit on. Kix is here. I should see what Kix has for sale. There's quite a few items I still don't have. Uh, you know, I don't think I have this plain basket bag. Hmm. And I see an adventurer's backpack too. The blue one. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to buy that too. I'm... Oh, my frame rate is dropping. Ugh. Okay, come on, let's let's go. I, I want to buy stuff and get going. No, I don't actually don't want that. Okay, I don't want the flower bag that... No, it looks too modern-y. I'm kind of going with a D&D &D aesthetic here. I want things to make it look like they're in like a, a standard fantasy kind of a world. Not that there isn't some more steampunky elements in things, but I'm not... It, it, it's I don't want something that looks too modern... I'm still not entirely certain how I'm going to go with my other island, um, which is a um, high rule. But I don't know, Raymond. What did Raymond send me? Cherry. Okay. I'm slacking off. No, you're not, honey. You're doing great. It's fine. Okay, let's see. I wanted to know you're a fabulous friend. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh, she's she's. I I get it. She's um, apologizing sort of for telling me off for not being around for a month. <laughs> the <laughs> the last time I played, I actually had Matilda tell me off. Like, how dare you not? How dare you disappear for a month and not tell us what was going on? How dare you? Should be ashamed of yourself. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, I have the wrong, I have my, hold on, I, I have my slides on the wrong bloody controllers. That may be the problem here. Oh. Hold on, hold on, I need to slide these off. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> my covers are on the wrong sides of the controllers because I don't I usually don't use the motion joysticks and now I'm oh my god it's it's legitimately I didn't want to capture anything <laughs> oh no <laughs> come on <laughs> stop I just Oh my God, get off, get off. Why can't you get off? Oh man, or maybe I'm trying to slide them the wrong way. I am, oh my God, I feel so stupid. Oh 
okay. Well, that was one off. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> The, the one on the the one on the negative controller doesn't want to come off. What is going on? Oh, I have it upside down. Okay, that one's right side up. The one on the negative side is not coming off. Come on. Oh, there. <sighs> Problems. Okay, there we go. That's better. That might actually help a bit. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, chainsaw if I was making a horror island. All right, let's see here. Uh, nothing there. Uh, no, yellow plane wall, yeah, no. Nah. That's stone tile, that's red flooring, and that's blue paint flooring. Okay, nothing today. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. I still have all of my Halloween things up and I'm not taking them down. I'm going to go. I'm still going to go full Halloween theme. I'm going to completely save my island and upload my new dream address. And it's all going to be Halloween themed because reasons. Cheerleader outfit. Again, if I were making a horror island, that would be Great. But let's see here. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I wish this tweed vest didn't have such obnoxious looking pockets. Long underwear set. Oh, yeah, because of course winter is coming. No. Okay, let's see here. I don't, no, not really. No, there's nothing here. There's just nothing here. Okay. I want to change though. I'm tired of wearing this cutesy thing. Oh, I remember why I wore this. Uh, because uh, uh, Sable, or not Sable, the, the Able sister that's the designer, Label, Label was in and she was like, show me an athletic outfit or something outdoorsy. And I'm like, OK, so I put on this cute hoodie and the sneakers and the hat and the pants. And she's like, that's not what I was looking for. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm at the wrong cabinet. Okay. All right, let's get changed. Um, let's go back to Prince. Oh, I did accidentally buy two of these. That's fine. I will. I'll actually give my sea elf one of those backpacks. Okay, something more stereotypical gothic. Um, Hmm. 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 Oh, I kind. You know what? I kind of like the thief outfit. I'm gonna put the thief outfit on with casual pants. 
because it's a nice straight leg. I could go with skirt. Red skirt. So you can see the cape. Hmm. What if I wear a kilt? What about this kilt? You know, that's, that's not bad. Okay, we're going to go with that. Uh, what do we got for headwear? Words. <laughs> stripy hat? No stripy hat. Smurf hat? No smurf hat. What about a palm cassette? Uh, hmm. No. No. Could always go with Tama Shanter. <laughs> No. Hood. Hood. All right, let's put throw on some black stockings. These are just knee highs that aren't going to be. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Holy tights. No. Where are stripy? I have plain black leggings. Come on, where are you? I don't. Where? Where are you? Carter socks. I mean, there we go. Ah. Oh. Terrible. Do I have red shoes that would kind of go with? Uh, well, those are very red. That's a very red color. Oh, that, yeah, because it's to go with the Roman Legion. You know what? That's not that's not bad though. Ooh, ooh, no, no, not that either. Classic plain boots though. Hmm. You know, I kind of like the sandals. Let's go with the sandals. This is this is a hot that that's a hot outfit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. This is a good, good look. Okay. All right. So um, this is my finished area here from, oh, oh, balloon. We might have, we might have a recipe. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh my God, stop. All right, what did I even have there? Oh, the carnival mask. Place item. Okay, now I'm going to have to do this. I didn't go past that. I did go past that. All right, let's... My hand ground. Okay. Okay, so this is my Pokemon Arceus um, display. This is basically the um, like item shop general store that they had. 
I didn't really have room for the plain weave like this without like the logo. I might manage to fix that once because I'm I'm going through all of my um patterns and choosing ones that I like and don't like and I'm just getting rid of stuff that I just really don't like so here whenever people visit my island um we're I'm going to have stuff to just give away because there are just so many things that just don't work with my aesthetic and there we go and honestly I just kind of want people to be able to just take things whenever I make my um, island available to people. I don't like these, this here either. I may, I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. I might put some statues or something to just flank the stairs, but I don't, I don't, I don't like the walls the way they stayed. We have armor and uh, shoes available here. The quote unquote Viking helmets that are just awful. And then we have uh, plate mail over here. You'll notice the, in the back here, we've got swords. And in the back of here, we've got armor. Those are not designs that I made. Those are ones that I just got just by searching the custom designs. Okay, so this this is actually, I, I have a full fort here. Um, this is my um, house. I'm going to redo the exterior. I don't like the exterior. It just doesn't quite work. So here is um, my pet piglet. Can I? Oh, there he is. Uh, my little my little um, black piglet, um, and I've used I've used a couple of the uh, storefronts to make it look like uh, like there's a full building there, um, and I've had a put a stool here and a candle and just some straw. And you had you notice he's got like a like a little water dish in back there. I wish. I wish this pail, you could actually have water in it, but there's no water. And here's my full, here's my full gold rose garden. The tree kind of conceals a little bit the um, exit into, I wonder, I wonder if I can actually plant this a little further back. Probably not. to just sort of conceal the entrance into this area. This is my graveyard. I have always kind of had a graveyard in this corner of my island. I have not changed that in the entire time that I've had this game. I've updated gravestones and designs and um, added things here and there, but I have never actually changed the fact that there is a graveyard here. Flanking black roses, we have the beach uh, where we have red that appears, and red is wanted uh, for for um, illicitly um, trading in goods that are not legitimate, uh, shall we say? <laughs> and we have a secret entrance. Um, to uh, entrance exit um, to the graveyard over here behind our witch's house. At some point, I'm going to change the cauldron. I, I'm going to change it to the green because I just like the green better. The green just kind of fits. We have a black bunny and we have some little some little dudes that kind of are kind of reminiscent of um, in Spirited Away, Yubaba's little henchman. And then we have a, the garden with the pumpkins that has, this has been here for a long time as well. At one point, my house was sitting here. Um, 
I just swapped it with um, Matilda. Matilda is actually here. Is she home? Yeah, she's home. I completely redid her interior. Um, I changed it dark and purpley, and there's more light because it is daytime. But I, I gave, I didn't change a lot, but I did gave, give her more accessories because she has a baby. There's the Joey. Um, so I gave her high chairs and more toys and some miscellaneous things. I wish there were more like black toys. She typically does have like the dark doll house and a couple of items, but right now she's building something. So we'll see what she's actually building. Yes, I, I, I am a prince, um, uh, Prince Gothic. So a lot of the villagers are like Royal Sir or Your Highness or I, the last time, um, who was it? It was, it was a villager had asked if they could call me something else. And I went, no, I don't find that acceptable at all. It was like sweetie pie or something. It was, it was a villager. I don't think I have anymore that they were, they were very briefly on my Island. And, and they're like, what do I call you? And I was starting to run out of nicknames and things. So I'm like, call me senpai. And they're like, okay, I'll call you senpai. Yay. And then suddenly a bunch of other villagers are like, I heard they called you senpai. Can I call you senpai too? Yeah, sure. I guess whatever. <laughs> and it, that just started to be a thing what are you working on bamboo candle holder oh do I have bamboo candle holder uh, yeah I do okay that's I, I can give it to one of my other colored characters I just recently made Rioth, my dark elf I don't think he has the bamboo candle holder yet Okay, so I'll just drop it over in his location. He he runs the um, Adventurers Guild. He has his apartment is in the back of the Adventurers Guild, and I'll just drop it outside the Adventurers Guild so he can pick it up. Fine. I I need to sell some stuff. Oh my god. I actually I need to drop some things off here. Okay, so let's drop off the backpack. Oh, let's open this. Antique boots. Oh, actually I could just use the antique boots. Oh clay. Yeah, I'll drop this too. Orange camo for yeah, I need to go. You know, I'm gonna go sell some. Oh, oh, oh it is gonna let me just duck through here. Okay. I'm going to run up here. Oh, this is. This is our temple to Dionysus. <laughs> um, alternately, Pan as well, um, because Pan and Dionysus are kind of known to party with one another. We have Dionysus over here, who's kind of bowing before the vine. I actually one of the one of the decorations that I'm going to make is actually a a fence with grapevines, so that is going to be something that I'm going to do. I managed to get this hat. I actually didn't have the grape hat. I went to a treasure island in order to get the grape hat, and I could only get one out of the treasure island, which kind of upset me a little bit. But what are you going to do? Um, why isn't this? Oh, there we go. 
Like, why isn't it moving? Okay. Is you going to let me dig up the money out and keep it? I think I have a couple of spaces open now. Okay. Oh, I should have buried cash to make another money tree. Well, well. All right, let's sell, 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 because there's a bunch of stuff that I do not want. Camo flooring is a definite. Nope, that's got to go away. Sand dollar, sturgeon. Do not want the toilet. The toilet can just go away. Let's drop, run over the ants. Let's drop a couple of things off. Oh, my dear sweet pastel bear, what do you want? Oh, what are you giving me? Oh, some cream and sugar. Okay. I will actually give it to the sea elf for her little cafe. Did I give this to him already? I'm, I think I did. I think that's why I have it. Drop item. Is there something else? No. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, my frame rate is dropping again. Okay, I already dropped off the backpack and the basket. I think this is the only other one I wanted to drop off. Oh, I can drop off the antique boots to Rioth as well. Mm -hmm. little little fortune telling camp here I don't have I put this here temporarily I don't know if I'm going to keep it here I had this over here which you notice there isn't enough room right now because I completely reorganized this section of my island Find them, which is why I've got trees in here as well. You know, let's, let's, oh, bugger me. I forgot there's a sign there. <sighs> okay. All right, what'd you give me? Box sofa. Oh, I don't want that either. Okay. This, 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 this. I traveled to some islands and got some stuff, so. Okay. You know, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to go fly. Hi, kid. It's been a while. Yeah. You are the same old kid. You betcha. We've got a little little farm over here. We've got trees and oh, that's weird. Like the coconut, some of the coconut trees have actually fully grown. Okay. 
Hmm. All right, that's okay. That's okay. It's, yeah. I didn't really think they were going to because they were all crowded, but okay. Hello, Dodo. I would like to fly, please. I would like to visit Harv's Island. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so I... I think it's very weird that there is that Harv set up like this weird socialist group where everybody can like freely exchange their wares and stuff, except that you still have to pay outrageous sums for s some of these things. Okay, what do we got over here? Uh, I don't, I think I have those statues. <gasps> Cornimer is still here. Yes, I think you, I, I do love acorns. Never mind, but thank you. Okay, let's talk to the camel and see what we've got. Misty Garden Wall I already have. Operating Room I already have. Construct, like, construction Site Flooring I do not want. Robo Flooring I do not want. Monochromatic Wavy Rug. Hmm. You know what? I am going to buy that. Here, take my bells. Take my bells. I would like to make additional purchases, actually. Do I have this? I don't know. I mean, if nothing else, I'll buy it and then I can just give it to my sea elf. Please enjoy your purchases. My wallet is not content, actually. I'm not sure I have light wood flooring sheet either. My wallet is actually content, thank you. Do I get luck from Kachina or not? Or bad luck, as the case may be. Apparently, when she gives you good luck, it does have some in-game purpose. I really haven't seen much of a benefit. Like, your friendship will grow. Friendship will grow with what? With who? I don't understand. If if you if you give that to me and I request somebody at my campsite, they will actually immediately come to my island and not have to go through the whole, hey, can you build me things? And the third time they'll actually stick around. Because that would actually be nice. That way I wouldn't have to just. Wait, I, I have a new villager on my island. I completely forgot about that. I should check in with them. I A new villager who's also an old villager. I keep getting villagers back on my island. There are hundreds of Animal Crossing villagers, but none of them are actually just showing up at my island. I have, I have visited many, many folks' islands. I speak to villagers and that, and, and villagers will show up on open plots. 
if you visit other islands, they will literally say, hey, I've moved here from blah, blah island. And I'd be like, oh, yay. And. But chief, chief is. Chief is actually a villager I wanted on my Hyrule Island, and I got him, but now he's shown up here, and I don't entirely know how I feel about that. Because I'm not sure I actually really want Chief. It's very strange. I kind of like Chief, but... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm actually having a hard time finding villagers that really work for me. I mean, nothing wrong with like, with like Judy and some of the, some of these villagers that a lot of other people just love to have, but I kind of like the, some of the oddball ones. Oh, here's a villager that I had who left and then came back. Harry. I kind of missed Harry anyway, so it was fine. But do I have a shirt to give him? Because I don't. <sighs> okay. Is this going to give me a shirt that I could give Harry so that he's just not wearing camo? Because the camo is definitely not my aesthetic. I'm I'm sorry, floral scones. I I have to see what that looks like right now. Floral scones. What? Uh, 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 um. I don't, is, this is an item that I don't think I have ever had. And I'm not sure I've ever seen. Okay. Okay. We need to put this on the wall somewhere. I need, oh my God, I don't have a lot of open spaces. How, how about the, oh, over the books. Can I put this over the books? Hang on, wall. <sighs> okay. Come on in, Cherry. My dark knight. It's nice that she's constantly wearing the armor that I gave her. <laughs> Can I? T I can't take this off the wall because it's rude to redecorate when you have company. Yeah, okay. So... Cherry, this is not you you've really done this at an inconvenient time. I I have stuff to do. This isn't an item that I've had, but it is but the floral scots is um from the um uh, happy home or happy vacation home or uh whatever it's called DLC. Yeah, that's an item from that. And uh, I, I can actually give that to my sea elf. That'll be great for her because it's pink and white. Bathrobe. Okay. Yeah, it's it's fine. I wonder if it's the bathrobe that I hung on her wall when I redesigned her house. Cherry, 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 sweetie. I, 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 I would like to not do this right now. Can I, can I not do this right now? 
I actually do mind the surprise visit. <sighs> you know what? Fine. Okay, let's start redesigning some things. The pearlescent one I use every so often. Vampire pumpkin, not so much. You know what? You can't really see these sand doodles over in the pirate area so much. So maybe I'll take care of that. I, I also don't use the trans and nine binary flags. Not that I don't. Not that I wouldn't still like to keep them on hand, but I don't really use them. Hmm. Actually, I want to... No, I don't want to wear it. I want to update this a little bit. Actually, I want to make the bottom of the plank here a little deeper. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, same shade, but just darker hue. Okay, I thought so. Okay. Let's just add a few dots here and there. Since it is going to be older wood. Okay. Let me just double check the other one just to make sure that that was just two shades darker. Need to have that whole key, whole cohesive thing. Yep, it was. Okay. 
Oh, I actually wanted to add a couple of dark spots too. Up here. Maybe up here as well. Okay. Two, right? Yep. Okay. I think that was a shade too dark. Yep. Okay. Oh, Maybe one up here right in this knot. Okay. A little too far. No, that's good. Okay. And then maybe. Yep, that's all I really need to do there. Hmm. Let me I'll copy this. And replace one of my old ones. Hmm. Now change the sign. Okay. So we are going to just... <sighs> Terrible.
I mean, never really considered doing that for a floor tile before. Okay. All right, so we're just going to make some more stones here. Low lights. Maybe do a little definition up here. Maybe a little bit jagged up there. There we go. Maybe put a little indent here in this corner. in a little crack. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Is it the same color? Oh, that's the same color. Okay, I didn't want that. Now let's just randomly fill in some lighter shades. Oh, I should have put the cracks in afterwards. Oh, well. Uh, okay. And lighter hue after that. put in some of that darker shade that I've lost. A couple of 
specks of really light color. So I'm pretty sure this is the same. Yep, yeah, that's the same hue. Let's do it on this one as well. Maybe smaller, larger section up here that's a little lighter. Okay, let's darken some of this back up. Okay, and we are not dragon stepping stones anymore, but we are stepping stones just in general. Right, let's copy, delete, and then change design. Hello, clear. Let's go to a lighter hue. Let's actually just fill that in. Now we can go to a lighter shade. Okay, 
fill that in. Okay, now let's just start. Oops. Oh well, I can fix that later. Let's just fill this in really quickly. Just random patterns. The highest point is going to be in the middle. That's where most of the light is going to actually hit any rocks or wood that you have. You're going to want to just use multiple shades here just to, for natural variation. <laughs> just fill in with just random dots and stuff. Then move a shade lighter, and then do the exact same thing. Just don't fill in as much. Then go a shade lighter. And then whatever you don't want, you just use it, your, um, basically your erase tool here. And I actually don't mind having some green or sand, depending on where I'm placing the stepping stones. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Maybe I will actually do a little more variation here. I can give this dragon some real definition. You really can't see him very well.
Yeah, that's better. Sure, I like that sticking out so far. Okay. Hmm. Now you're going to tell me that you should yeah, later because I've been doing stuff while you've just been sitting around. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see what these look like because these were sand doodles, which means they're just going to show up on the beach where I have sand doodles. Okay, let's, oh, I should do those up too while I'm at it. Maybe I won't though. I just don't need to. This barren section on my beach, I just don't like. I've got a few things on it, but I just don't. I just don't like the fact that it's okay. Okay, those those are looking good. Those are looking okay. Let's try to put some on the ground here again. Display on ground. Hmm. My, my pyramid of power is just in the way. Can I, you're not going to let me through. You're not going to. All right. Fine, I'll just pull it this way or push it this way. too far forward. Let's go back up here. Wrong thing. Terrible. Terrible. There we go. Display on ground. And Okay, that's not looking so bad. It's a little more cohesive with the gray rock that's kind of just at the end of the beach here. All right, so. Let's see what else we can work on. Yeah, the cauldron up above, I kind of tied into the turquoise pond here. I actually like the turquoise color for the glowing pond better than the green. But it just, oh, there's another, there's a gyroid fragment. Okay. Um, 
No, I'm not going to remember that this is here. It's probably one of the fossils from before that I couldn't spot right away. Oh, we've got green, green leaves. They need to go away. I tried more realistic looking leaves, but they just didn't work with the trees. Um, those are a little slightly lighter color. So we'll just go with that. Let's get rid of that bright green color. Okay. They kind of hide really well with the green mums, so I'm going to ignore those. Everything is really browning up on the island, and the green leaves just are not working with the aesthetic. I thought maybe that was going to be the case, but I just didn't want to let's just get rid of a lot of these. I don't not all of them because there are still green leaves on some of the plants and bushes and things, but they're just they just got to go. Oh, I need to get some of my leaf piles too. Because some of the plants are turning color, but some of them aren't. Like the tomatoes here are still a bright green, and the holly bushes are a bright green. Um, my ivy is still a bright green, and I don't... There is technically for this pattern, there is a like a, a fall-ish color. Because this is, I think this is the summer bright green color. But I don't know if I'm going to bother changing that or not. I have uh, the locations that I have for the um, the, uh, the some of the patterns that I have used, like for the moss and things, I have retweeted and reblogged on my retweeted. Oh my God. I, I have, I think I have retweeted them on my uh, Twitter page, my little geekery. Um, but I think I, I got them from Tumblr. Um, my animal crossing Tumblr page is literally AC designs, the letter A, the letter C, and then D E S I G N S. I have reblogged them all on there so that if you have any questions about where some of these patterns might be that I got them from, that's where I, I've, I've reblogged them. I found them on Tumblr, at least most of them anyway. Some of the more realistic ones, like the, like this pattern right here, this replaced a different pattern that I had that had flowers and stuff that just wasn't working for what I wanted. Like this one right here is still the old pattern that's a bit more cartoony in the pig pen. But that's definitely, I. it just, it the, the car, slightly cartoony, flowery colored ones just were not working for me. It was pretty. But it just wasn't the direction I was going with for my island. I don't know. I'm wondering if I should replace that. I like my pebble path, but I don't know.
Mm. Oh, this summer green straw is just not going to. Oh, this this green leaf has got to go. Okay, time to put some stuff away and get some stuff out. You, you, do, 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 do. Nope, don't want the box sofa. Green leaf file. Get something out. Okay. Let's get some fall-ish stuff out. Hmm, I don't really have any spooky chairs out. Maybe I should put some up near the great pumpkin. Or maybe near the pumpkin patch up by the witch's hovel. All right, let's see here. I don't use the hay beds enough. I've got some hay beds lying around, but not enough. Hmm. Pile of leaves, 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 pile of leaves. If he can't fire. Okay. Hmm. Color is that hyacinth lab? I don't remember really that color. Hmm. Some random firewood. I do love some good firewood. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, you know, for for a design for the for the ground, I should use these beach balls and make watermelon vines. Mm-hmm. That is something I should do. This is all wall designs and stuff. Okay. Get rid of the coconut trees and put the...
a uh, watermelon vines there. Yeah. Oh, another green leaf pile. That's not acceptable. Okay. Well, actually, we're going to put a red leaf pile here. And we're going to put spooky chair. No. Pile of leaves right here. I think I will, however, put a spooky chair here. I said. Amongst the mushrooms and the trees. Yes. Hmm. Should put another spooky chair here because we're waiting for the great pumpkin. You know what? I think maybe I will. I'll put. Spooky chair, and then I will drop item. Oh, you can't really see it. <laughs> when you move up here, you can see it. That'll be good enough, I guess. I still am not entirely sure what to do here. I don't know. I definitely do need to put a fence, though, to delineate these areas. Maybe a few pine, um, uh, not pine trees, oh heavens, um, coconut trees. I did have some fencing from before. I might do that. I I don't think I'll create a wall of seashells. I think maybe I might do um some some of the wedding fencing that is just like white fabric on um between little rails. Um I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, that sounds like something. Okay. So I am going to pull out my Ardoji shovel. Actually, first I'm going to get a couple of coconuts. Oh, I pop this balloon. What are you doing? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did it disappear? Yep, I think it did. It just disappeared into the ether. Okay, I'm going to eat the coconuts. Eat one. Hold on.
Oh, uh, okay. Just some updates there about the weather and stuff. Um, since the snow has not stopped and, oh, wow, I actually can't see the road from my window at this point. All right. I'm probably not going to work tomorrow either. So, okay. Let's move these trees. Get rid of these little coconut babies. All right, now let's work on the vines here. Let's just use the sand oodle here. All right. Clear my canvas. Change palette to something with a lot of greens. This one will do, I think. The ball will actually be somewhere like in the middle, so let's let's make a nice that vine for the middle. Jamal, thank you for the follow. I'm not using any sound, so hi. Your follow uh, sound effect kind of startled me there for a second because it was I, it was so quiet in my house because the the snow outside is completely deafening any other sounds that I would have for ambient noise and it's it has startled me for a second so thanks for joining. So I'm just doing some fun little Animal Crossing stuff here. I'm just making some new designs and things um, for my island. At the moment, I am making a watermelon vine because I'm planning on using some watermelon beach balls for fruit here. Oh, that's going to be a little too dark. 
All right, let's change this color a bit. Let's actually lighten this one up a little bit too. Hmm. And this is actually a little too blue. Still too blue. There we go. Oops, I'm on the wrong hue. Oh my God, what am I doing? No, that's still a little too bright. No, no, it needs to be green, green. Okay, that's in the same palette family. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, that's good. Let's go with that. Let's add some highlights to this wine. Hmm, Need a little more dimension in there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now let's add some leaves. Hmm. Watermelon leaves are really wide. Maybe I'll add a bit of this color. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I know what I'm doing wrong. The highlights, the, the middle of the leaf is actually kind of where the low lights are. Better. I'm not entirely happy with it though. Uh, 
Okay, that's a little better. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, I, I yeah. Let's. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's that's a lot better. Okay. Maybe put like a little shading on that leaf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, watermelon vines have a lot of little tendrils that just kind of come out everywhere. So let's just put little tendrils here. Maybe like right there. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. Maybe I'll... Just differentiate that a little bit. Yeah, okay, I think I'm done with that. So let's go ahead. Okay, let's just watermelon. No, oh, that's creepy. That's actually slightly creepy looking, which is perfect vibe. Display on ground. 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 Did I pick up the watermelon balls? I don't think I did. You know what? I'm going to actually put one of the green leaf piles here. You're not going to let me? Oh, that's disappointing. Let me try this way. Okay, that'll work. Do I still have that storage? Yep, okay. I wasn't sure if I still had my storage over here or not. Get something out. Um, miscellaneous. I think it's in miscellaneous. 
Toys, 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 toys. Yes! You know what? I'm going to take two of these beach balls and take them and get them changed over to watermelons. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Build ones. Oh, I'm not facing the... Okay. Beach ball. Place item. Whoops. <laughs> it would be nice if I used the right beach ball. It would be this one. And then this one. Let's turn that a little bit so it's a little different. Oh, that's good enough enough. Let's head back to Harv's while we're thinking about it. Because if I don't do this now, I'm going to completely forget to change these beach balls over to watermelons. I want to fly. Is it Harv's Island? Yes, I'm packed in stuff. It's good enough anyway. <laughs> Flying dodo air. Pomade tinned. Uh, who? How many game players do you think know what pomade is? I mean, I do. I'm a nerd. But how, how many people today actually use pomade and not like hair wax or something? It would be nice if I press the right button. Was there always a little weed growing here? I legitimately don't remember that. Anyway, second watermelon. What else did I have? I, I sure am. Hey bed, hey bed, box sofa, and that's the campfire. Out of curiosity, what is the color box sofa I got? Oh, turquoise. Figures, turquoise is the color of most of this stuff that I've gotten. You know what? I'm going to go over here and get a fortune told. Why, yes, I would actually like to know my luck. And we cast a magic spell, bippity boppity boo. Not for nothing, but that little eye symbol that she has painted on her trailer looks a lot like the eye logo that like the Yaga clan no not the Yaga clan um from 
I think the Yaga clan are actually your rivals. Um, from uh, the Zelda and Link games, um, specifically, uh, I'm thinking of um, uh, Breath of the Wild, where you you actually have like a full outfit and stuff from them. From this vision, I deduce that your lucky money will improve. Okay. Does that mean I will get more money from stuff that I sell? Allegedly. My frame rate is being all janky again. Yes, I would like to go home. Yes, I would like to go back to Cherry Town. I wonder if your starting fruit is different. He'll actually just say whatever your starting fruit is. Both of my islands starting fruit were cherries. So I, I don't have anything to compare. Like it's always Cherry Town. He'll say like different things, but would you like to bounce back to Cherry Town whenever it's a fruit? I'm going in the wrong direction. Now well, maybe I will take out this leaf pile. It's like 1.5 this size beach ball. Well, I'm actually, I need to face the direction I want to place it. Place item. And place item. <sighs> place item, I said. Uh. Good enough. <laughs> okay. What else can I do? What else can I do? What other what other paths do I need to work on? Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, I can. Hey, Noah, thanks for joining. All right, let's. Actually, I don't really remember what. Okay, so let's just copy. Yes, I want to delete it. And now change design. Okay, so let's. Cause I need to update all my paths, so let's just go ahead and just fill this in. or at least fill it in about as much as I'd like to. You know what? Let's just do this first. It's just easier for me, honestly, I find. Okay. Now, oh, that's too light. There we go. Oh, it sounds like the snow plows are starting to come through my neighborhood finally. 
three feet later. Oh, terrible. So we're just chilling with some Animal Crossing while I remake some of my designs and pet for paths and signs and stuff. I just I'm I'm just sort of just completely redoing my island with sort of a Halloweeny D and D theme, and I haven't liked some of the cartoony paths and stuff that I've had for a while. So I'm just redoing them to something that's a little more my aesthetic that at least the aesthetic that I've kind of settled on Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. I can clean that up. Ah, oh, terrible. Awful. It's getting close to 5 p.m. where I am, and I didn't have a whole lot for lunch today. I had some uh, lo mein -y noodle -y stuff with some broccoli, and I'm starting to get a little hungry. So I may pause the stream soon and come back tonight. I'm going to finish this first before I do anything. Filling in. It just, it takes so long to just get sort of a natural looking path.
Okay, let's clean it up a little bit. Get rid of that nonsense, that nonsense. Put in a few blotches here and there right on the edge. Okay. Path. I'm just going to... Path is fine. All right, let's take a look how this looks. Oh. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Oh, there's Chief. Yep, I talked to him on someone's island that I visited, and that's why he came. Found another one of these. All right, let's go ahead and give them to Rioth so he can have them identified and sold since he's my new character. All right, let's drop some stuff. Drop, drop. Okay, I think I might just sell the coconuts. I might sell the rest of the hardwood trees too. Yeah, let's sell. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. All right, so I am going to pause the game at this point and pick this up later as I go ahead and continue decorating for the fall and bright green leaves need to go away and hopefully fix some of these paths and things that I've got going at High Cherry that I've got going on. Maybe stop into the interior. Oh, three birds. Oh, goody. I've got three birds back. Soon, Maybe soon I'll have four again. All right. So I will pick this back up later this evening. Um, I can always tune into Twitter um, as long as Twitter still exists. Um, it is um, my little geekery is my handle pretty much across all the platforms. So if you, so if you see me on Mastodon or Twitter or Tumblr or even Facebook, I guess <laughs> it's 
same across all the platforms. So if you want to find me, there I am.